Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So, um, just one thing I don't think I pointed out yesterday, but if you look at these lows here on the 8th hour, and look at the oscillators in the opposite direction, you know, diversions was an early warning, well, not really an early warning, it was a three-week long warning that uh, this move was coming to an end, and you can see we've sort of broken above. Not, not done yet. If you look to the left, there's lots of... Um, interest around here as well so uh, we are sort of back in the previous range that we had uh, so the question is are we going to find support here at uh, 100972 if we do find support here we'd be moving up uh, big inside bar at the moment off nothing except the 155 EMA and a grouping of the oscillators so this is not an area I want to be long just yet and if we drop down to the hour you'll see uh, big move up yesterday and then we sort of just fizzled out so you need to pay attention to your structure and this is your structure I'm going to put the third one in as well okay so a couple of things to be wary of you've got all these gaps you've got a gap there you've got a gap there so we've got a weekly gap and then we've got a daily gap here and I don't think there's another one further down no so those are acting as magnets we do have the moving averages pointing up Oscillators have sort of eased off a little bit in the middle of nowhere, not offering us anything. It does look like a flat bottom triangle uh, potential at the moment. And then the next thing that you need to do is just put in your trend line. And it's interesting that all the indexes and Forex have the same pretty much set up at the moment. So uh, you can see that is the trend line. What we're looking for is price to come back onto support and then rally again so this area is of interest 101143 um, as is this area 100972 uh, and if that gives way you may find support here at 10852 but then i would suspect this gap would get targeted and for the gap to get targeted you're going to see this area of support come into play but if that comes into play then this gap comes into play so if we start dropping below the lows of yesterday then i'd be waiting a little bit more cautiously for a setup but if you look at this area here you can see trend line horizontal support all clustered together so i'd be looking for price action of 100852 uh, 10972 and also 101143 so that kind of the, the setup I'm looking for. Find some support here, potential moves the upside. That would be a morning trade. Uh, afternoon, we've got CPI data coming out. We do have some European data coming out this morning as well. So just keep those stops really tight. Um, anything can happen today. Uh, moving on to the US dollar, Japanese yen. Uh, tails the downside, tails the upside. Really confusion. Uh, real, really confusion. English is really good this morning. Some uh, huge amount of confusion. Uh, should be say big down big up uh, we have let's look like we've rejected this area this rejection was in the middle of nowhere look at my oscillators here uh, this is forming a bit of diversions as well so this is pointing to a potential another leg up now that would throw things into disarray on the bigger scheme of things with the markets but anyway let's have a look at the hour here this is ranging to the sideways sideways motion at the moment you can see big up big down in amongst moving averages not interested in this uh, we either break this area here one four three three two one for a move to the upside or what i'm looking for is rejection uh, and this rejection will have to happen off uh, lower time frames such as the 15 minute and oh this is messy but um Ah, I'm set on hand, so you're not even going to advise that. So until this breaks, this is a consolidation area. It's probably going to continue through to the CPI data. And at that point, we'll see whether it breaks the upside or breaks the downside. If it starts breaking these lows and retest these lows to downsides, then you're looking for 140.683 as your target. And the lows I'm talking about, obviously, is kind of there at the moment. But uh, whatever happens, it could drop a little bit lower and then back up, etc. Anyway, that's a sit-on-hand scenario. Let's stay away from that. Um, British pound, Japanese yen. We had some confusion going into the close on Friday last week. And then we had a gap up. And now we've got this inside bar. Uh, if you just get onto the weekly here, you'll see this area that we are 
uh, targeting at the moment is pretty much all over the place. You can see, look at these tails, the upside, this whole year has been kind of really difficult. Nice big engulfing bar, which has taken out a number of weeks of uh, losses. And if I just scroll to the left, you'll see a pretty strong area of support here, um, which was support, and we are now looking at it as resistance. So we're looking to move up. Uh, at the moment, we need to find structure. And uh, yesterday, we had a fairly strong move up and then went sideways. So I would argue you have a setup like, i uh, just do that rather. So that is your range. So for as long as it stays inside that range, you have no interest in trading this. You do have a gap to the downside, which is a, and a bigger range. So it could drop into young close the gap. This would be an area to buy off. 165241 if it does get down there uh, we do have a pretty strong trend line here um, alternatively i don't think i want to be buying off this level here not while we're ranging like that i'd rather buy off the range target to the downside which would be down here or alternatively look for a break and retest of 167094 um, oscillators are indicating that this is going to continue to the upside at the moment, but uh, probably it's going to go sideways until the data is out the way. Uh, and that would be this morning for that pair. Next is a Euro British pound. And uh, at the moment, this is big up, big down, big up, big down, big up, big down, big confusion. No interest here for me. And uh, you can see basically the last three days has been the same kind of price action. Very difficult to trade this kind of stuff. Just when you think you've got a break, then it sort of goes into the sideways spin. Oscillators crossing up, so potentially something over here. Uh, uh, that's probably the closest one right where we are now. So you can see all the rejection here. But you don't, I don't want to be trading that. Really don't want to be trading that kind of stuff. That's just a recipe for getting burnt. So you can see you get these massive moves up. You look for support on a break and a retest. You don't get it. This gives a massive move down. That is a sign of confusion. Now, the, the interesting thing here is because we have so much, um, we've got so much going on in Europe at the moment. We've got uh, Europe going into winter. We've got energy prices uh, potentially skyrocketing. We've got the European Union that have actually put out, um, I think I figure it was um, 500 billion euros uh, to subsidize energy. Uh, so, you know, it's not going to, to hurt one economy over the other. So if that's why you're seeing this absolute confusion with the euro and British pound pairs at the moment. So uh, nobody really knows what's going to happen. And at this stage, I think I am sitting on the sides with this one. I actually may just start looking at a different currency pair as well. It replaces it's been It's been promising, but it's just not getting going. Anyway, that is kind of it for me today, sitting on hands pretty much on Forex until all the data comes out and is out of the way. And I uh, hope that helps, and we will catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.